to do analysis, we need one thing, and that is expect the cash flows. That's the thing. Huh? So everything starts somehow with expected cash flows. So now we have some financial contracts where the expected cash flows are well defined. For example, the swap. Hmm? So it's perfectly defined. We have the fixed side that's anyway simple. It's the same payment all the time, so it's known. The variable side depends, though, on interest rates, but there's a good theory to generate them, have forward rates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's well defined. Uh, but uh, then there are other contracts where the cash flows are not well defined. And the main uh, uh, group of contracts there are saving account and current accounts. And they are at the same time very important. So I guess that the main income source of banks is probably the saving accounts and current accounts because that's a steady stream of income uh, which is uh, significant, uh, which, which they have. So, now there, the, ca the cash flows are not well defined. If you think about a, a saving account, you go there, they tell you, put your money here, and the current interest is such and such, whatever it is. That's all, whatever. And the more money you put, the more you, uh, they owe you, and, uh, but uh, they can change the rate at any time they wish. And you have the right to withdraw the money at any time uh, you wish. So there's an uncertainty about the cash flows. So we have to generate that. Now, if we talk about cash flows and events, uh, we, rem we remember we have the contracts here, uh, we have the markets here, uh, we have the counterparties here, and then the behavior, which we are just discussing, actually, and then we generate the financial events here. And then we have the two main, the two main type of analysis. One is called the liquidity stream, and the other one is the value income stream, where we have uh, everything down here. And that uh, poses also some problem when we do a replication. So it means for saving account and current account, we don't have real cash flows, fixed defined cash flows. So we have to replicate it with something which will give us cash flows at the end of the day. That's the art, and which has the same behavior. So, and if we are on this side of the analysis, so then we are interested about uh, how can people deplete my bank? You know, how can people come and run and, uh, and rush in and take my money away? So here, uh, I have to take a, a negative view here, a risky view. So I say, normally, uh, these guys, maybe they stay a long time with me. In the worst case, maybe that will run out over 30 years or whatever. But in a crisis, this will go down like this. Uh, and of course, how fast they can draw depends also a little bit on the contract. For example, you might have clauses which says uh, you can only draw 10,000 per month or something like that. Else there's a penalty. So you can make people stop uh, with uh, withdrawing money here. So, so, and how do you do that? By, for example, using principal at maturity contracts. This is a PAM, this is a PAM, and this is a PAM. And this is what uh, Janis uh, showed last time. He said X percent of that, X percent of that, X percent of that. So that gives you a drawing behavior. Yeah. Uh, now, if you're on this side, value income, then the focus is on income, on value. So here, uh, the idea is to have a, a replication uh, portfolio which can replicate my income. So if I have something which replicates my income, so then it's a good replication. So how do we do that? So we have here um, the, the income of, of the saving account, say we do it saving account here, uh, and say we, we, we observe that over time. That's just history. Say we are here. Uh, we had so much income here, we had so much income here and there. What would be a good replication in this case? Actually, if it's saving, it's expense, but just the other sign. What would be a good replication? 
a portfolio which gives me the same income, but just with a, actually a constant spread here, where we have the same distance. Then I have a good, then I have replicated it well. So, so from a risk perspective, I have hatched it. And of course, that's uh, much uh, quite difficult to achieve, but uh, you can do that by historical analysis. You go into a historical periods and say, uh, and you try with different mixes of assets, liability, uh, of um, of bonds, maybe uh, pumps, maybe amortizing bonds, maybe bonds with cap floor or something like that. Whatever you, you can do. So, and of course, uh, it's never that perfect. So then we get another problem, but this I will discuss uh, later when we uh, next, actually next week. So what do we do uh, if it is not perfect? So, but these are the two views. And if you have um, uh, then a task where you do uh, liquidity risk, then you have to think more in this term. And if you do a task where you do uh, like interest income forecast and so on, you have to think more in these terms. Here. Yeah, maybe now a little question. Let's say we are in this case. And I have a current account and I have a saving account. Uh, what would be the difference in modeling between saving account and current account? Uh, the, the answer is, uh, in current accounts, you basically, current accounts move with the short-term rate. They're always much higher. There's a big spread. But uh, basically, when the rate goes up, you pay more and uh, less and so on here. So, so it's, it's closely linked uh, to, the, to money market rates. So how would you model uh, something which is closely linked to money market rates? I just give you two options. <laughs> Would you model it with a rather short-term uh, fixed, uh, like a PAM or something? Let's take PAMs, yes. Would you rather uh, model it with a short-term PAM or with a long-term PAM? Anybody, I guess? As something which adapts quickly to market conditions. So how would you model that? Yes. Because it's like a sequence of short-term things, because they add up quickly to market. So, so, uh, so current account, you can model quite well like that. So, and then, of course, obviously, if it's saving account, you would have to go more in long term, because that's sluggish. Uh, it, it adapts slowly, just to give you some hints here. OK, so that was the um, replication uh, portfolio uh, part of behavior. Actually, we were looking at this view, okay, the liquidity view. So how you can draw, how the counterparty is drawing the money 